Hey guys, Coach Kyle here with Jared. Jared is actually one of our athletes. He's a throwing athlete and he works on the sales team. So if you guys are from any of our collegiate or pro sports teams, you probably talked to this nice gentleman right here. Today we're coming at you with part three of elbow pain. Part one, one of the most important things just to recap for you, when we're talking squats and bench press, if you have horrible posture or horrible position, we can't undo that by great stretches, um, active mobility ball work, flossing work, and or soft tissue work with any of our tools. So it's imperative that when you're dealing with these elbow pain, you make sure that your mechanics for your main movements are on point. Now this might be a little bit different for an athlete like Jared or say a striking athlete who is going to be moving a little bit more explosively and probably not going to be under the best necessarily control through their range of motion because of the sport they use. So a great time to use Jared here to demonstrate as well. In part two, I gave you some simple stuff you can do with floss and acumobility mobility ball for a really cheap price. And most likely you probably have this in your gym bag or one of your training partners does as well. So in a part three, most of this could be done yourself laying on the ground, but we're actually gonna demonstrate today me working on him with Boomstick. So we're gonna start with bicep tendon, cause of a lot of shoulder pain and elbow pain. Lay uh, face up for me here, sir. Obviously most of this could be done off of a bench in the gym or right off the floor as well. We just have him in the studio here, so we're gonna put him up on an actual uh, therapeutic table. Starting with bicep straight up because we are going to hit three angles here. I'll get a couple passes just rolling. This can be pretty tender, so definitely be easy on yourself if you were doing self-care here or communicate with your training partner. <clears throat> I can feel that tight spot through here. I'm sure he can as well. So I'm just gonna add some pressure and lock this in while I have him do a bicep curl and a tricep extension. Move out of the way here so we can demonstrate well. The only other thing I'm adding in is a little supination and pronation. You'll notice the fist is closing and then it's opening. You've probably heard, if you've seen my videos before, my nice three by three rule. So we'll go pretty quick here just to demonstrate. If bicep was causing a lot of problems, I would do about three reps here, three reps here, three reps here. Because of the angle of all of this muscle mass here, <coughs> or the angle of the muscle, I wanna make sure I hit it once again from three different points. So now I'm just gonna come at about a 45 degree angle. <coughs> Give it a little TLC first with some rolling, and then same spot feels the most tight for me. I'll have him curl and extend here. Supination, pronation, hand opens and closes as well. I would do about three reps here. We'll go ahead and move on. So now I'm gonna come to the other side of the arm, rotating it through a little bit, working this side of the bicep. Here's where we get into some very interesting parts of anatomy. We have brachioradialis and brachialis right through here, and Oh, uh, underneath those, we're gonna have the extensor group. So I'm working bicep primarily is my intention, but as I get down closer to that elbow, we find that nice tender spot that he has <clears throat> where a lot of our elbow pain may also be coming from. So first I'll get a couple more reps, bicep curl, tricep extension here. Once again, pressure should be something they can tolerate. <clears throat> I don't want to push them past their pain threshold. We just want to get some good effective work in. Now I'm going to come down a little bit onto brachialis, brachioradialis, and we definitely have his attention here. So we're just going to curl and extend here, <clears throat> and you don't need to supinate or pronate. You could, but we'll just make it really easy. Curl, extend. That'll probably be true for the rest of our movements here. I can pinpoint this if this is a problem like it is for him. <clears throat> couple more reps can definitely feel how that changes things remember with this tissue work I need the muscle to fire underneath my pressure I don't necessarily need full range of motion I get a little cross fiber in here as well free that elbow up pretty nicely Jerry let's go ahead and have you uh, join me you're gonna kneel on that side of the table 
This is really nice off of a uh, bench in the gym, any of your adjustable benches or your actual bench press, just because it's going to be smaller. He has long enough arms here. This is going to work for movement off the table for him. So now we're going to work same tissue, brachioradialis and brachialis. You can see we probably got his attention again. It's not the most comfortable thing. <clears throat> But no, we know we're in an effective area here. And the full extensor group. So let's get a couple curls and extensions. And we're attempting to make a fist and curl, extend and splay the fingers as far back and as far wide as we can. None of these movements need to be quick either. About three reps. I will pick another spot here. <laughs> right above the actual elbow. Go again for me. And we did already hit the higher spot of the attachment through brachialis here. But we can hit it through this angle as well just because it's in a nice position. We could curl and extend through here. Go ahead and bicep curl. Tricep extension for me. Yep. Straighten. I can pinpoint the other side of brachioradialis as well. Go ahead and open and close that fist for me. And add a wrist curl. Yep. Yep, curl it in, open, extend. Same thing through the extensor group. If we were wanting to pinpoint any of these sticky spots. Let's go ahead and have you roll so we get to the other side of your forearm. Yep, so I'll throw you here and then I'll just shift you quite a bit here. <clears throat> One of the main spots is going to be off this epicondyle here. It can be a little tricky to get to from this angle, but this will work pretty well. So once again, we'll just roll the majority of that muscle mass through here. Give it a couple passes. He can probably feel it's real tight right there. I can feel it. Anywhere that's tender or extra tight, we won't talk much more than dysfunction today for muscles. But it's just your body telling you that there's probably something going on there. You should probably pay attention to it. Let's go ahead and same movements. Close and wrist curl. Open, extend, split fingers. With the stretches that we did in part one of elbow pain, you might find some interesting spots through your bicep, brachialis, brachioradialis, even flexor and extensor group. You didn't know it was that uh, tight or painful. Again, it's just the body telling you, you might want to spend some time addressing these areas. And just because of this angle here, one more time, we'll jump in with a little bit of pinpoint. At that tender spot there. Go ahead and curl and extend. Yep. Good. A little three by three there. And last but not least, he's not going to like this much either. This can be a real tender one. A lot of times we don't even know how uh, much pain our triceps are in. Probably saw that with Coach Brandon with just the Acumobility Mobility Ball. Here's how we're going to address it with Boomstick. So I'm going to have you stick the uh, uh, arm right off the table there, yep, just so we can get to the tricep. Similar to bicep, we have a fair amount of muscle mass here. So we want to affect it straight down and then at least at two different angles. No need for, scoot this way for me just a hair. Good. No need for supination and pronation here. <clears throat> I'll give a couple rolls first. That tender through there. Yep. Any of our practitioners or clinicians out there, you'll probably have a pretty good feel through the tool. Like right here, I can feel extra tight. There's some, once again, I'll use my favorite word, dysfunction through here. Because we're in a pretty good spot, we will tricep extension and bicep curl through here. Don't need a huge range of motion. Just need that muscle mass to fire underneath my pressure. I could flip this over and go pinpoint on the tricep as well. Pretty big muscle he has here, so I can effectively use the uh, entire boomstick here. Now we'll go in at that about 45 degree angle, if you will. How's that feeling there? Not Take bad. Not the bad? lower half's gonna not feel good. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and interestingly enough, we're dealing with some elbow pain. Tricep covers a lot of muscle mass, but more pain for our throwing athlete here as we get closer to the elbow. Yeah, I can feel that in there for sure. Mm -hmm. Tricep extension, bicep curl, 
Two more reps. One, two. We're already here. We could add in a little cross, cross fiber as well. One last spot. I'm going to let Jared get to his workout. Doesn't feel much better on that side, does it? Doesn't feel as bad as the other side, though, at least. Yeah. And I like that spot right there. Mm -hmm. Tricep extension, curl. Nice work, so let's pop on up and recap. So working with any of our tools, uh, Geisha, Pain Pill, Boomstick, today we're prim uh, primarily using Boomstick. One of the things I want to highlight is look at the muscle mass we covered. Bicep tendon, uh, flexor group, extensor group, brachialis, brachioradialis, and tricep. Really what I'm saying is we're going to highlight everything around the elbow. If there's some tension through here, there may or may not be some tension through the tricep, but there's probably going to be dysfunction elsewhere. And it didn't take long. If I was just rolling his arm, I could probably get both of them done in about as much time as I was talking and educating. So it can be a pretty quick process. We don't need to spend 20, 30 minutes with it. We just want to be simple and efficient and address all the muscle mass around it. Once again, referencing video one of elbow pain, when we do these stretches or work on other areas like tricep, his tricep probably felt good last couple pressing workouts. Yeah. Didn't really feel like it was part of the problem. Pain was somewhere else on the front side. But it's not the healthiest, happiest muscle. There is some dysfunction in it. So a great time to look at the other side and address other things. Anything to add there, sir? No, I think just to reinforce, uh, to take the time and roll through all the muscle groups instead of just attacking the irritated area, I noticed like there was a lot of stuff that Kyle brought up that I didn't even know was actually an issue. Yep, and we see that a lot even in the massage therapy world. A lot of people want to go right to the side of pain, and that's what our body wants to do. It hurts there, let's address there. But just take a couple minutes, address your movement first, make sure your movement quality is good. Make sure you're addressing all muscles, stretching and soft tissue in and around the pain and problem area. Thanks, guys. Thanks.